Alright, hello fun and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Gekta mod, which is being made by user MH175, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a wonderful new water world with a couple of moons for you to explore, and I've been having a lot of fun with this one because, I mean, come on, who doesn't want some more oceans to sail around? So let's uh, jump on into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get here. Now, while I zoom out, I do, of course, need to mention a prerequisite. Being a planet pack, you are going to need Copernicus, which thankfully updated a couple of days ago, so you should be able to wor work with it just fine here in the latest version of the game as I'm running. Now, as for our lovely new planet, well, it's pretty close by home as Gekta is just right there in between our home world and Eve. A pretty tight orbit around Eve as well, but otherwise, you know, fairly typical orbit for the rest of the planets. Now let's zoom on in here. Before we get too close, let's talk about what we do get. Now we get the one water world here with two moons going around it. And as for the celestial bodies, let's start with Gekta, which of course is the main planet here. It is a water world and has a magnificent ring. And you guys know me, I'm a sucker for a ringed world. Now, stat-wise, it has a radius of 483 kilometers, a gravity of 0.8 Gs, does have an atmosphere with a pressure of 1.019 atmospheres, and all in all is just a cool world to go and visit. Now, as for its moons, the first is a Turnum, which is quite small. It is a tiny rock of only seven kilometers in radius with a minuscule gravity of 0.001 Gs. And this one does not have an atmosphere to speak of. And then the final celestial body we have here is the moon of Pytha, a little bit bigger with 55 kilometers in radius with a gravity of a 0 0.07 Gs and once again no atmosphere much like with a Turnum, though having quite a bit more topography than a Turnum, and honestly a lot more topography than perhaps even Gekta. Good times. Now let's go take a bit closer of a look here at Gekta and again I just love it. You've got uh, a turnip right there just outside the ring giving it a glorious view of the whole thing and then we have a pytha quite a ways away out here and fun little bit of information there it's apparently uh, was captured if we actually go back to uh, pytha there a captured object with an eccentric orbit which is pretty cool and I like that in this uh, it even mentions for like a turnip the the moon was discovered by a sign, Kerman. Just, I always love those little neat details there. Now, as for Gekta itself, again, glorious water world, though not entirely water. It actually does have a decent chain of islands on the back side, which is quite cool. So, you know, if you do want to have a little bit of land, set up a nice colony on the place, you do have this land to work with. But yes, the rest, the rest of this planet is, is all water. So get your boats out and uh, enjoy sailing the gigantic sea here. Very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, I do like that it does at least have some land here to give people who like base building a little bit of a place to do that in. And plus, considering the small size of some of these islands, a bit of an interesting hard target for you to get to. Now, as for a tournament, it is just a tiny, smooth little rock there that, uh, you know, just neat. Does, again, have a very nice view of the ring and the planet there. Always nice to uh, have a place to visit close by. And, of course, Pytha. Very nice on the coloration. I do like that it is a bit more interesting color-wise. Because even though I do love the water world of Gekta, it is kind of... um singular in its color scheme with the one exception of the island so it is nice to see a little bit more coloration even if it is just shades of gray and brown and plus the topography here is a nice change of pace as well from the other two bodies 
Well, let's just quickly go over to our Viewmatic satellite and just gaze upon this planet from orbit uh, before, you know, ending up things today. Not a huge amount of stuff to go over, considering it is just one planet and two new moons, but what a planet it is. Not only does it have a magnificent ring, glorious oceans, but does still have that little bit of land for you to enjoy. Has two lovely little moons, including good old Aeternum there, quite easy to spot. Though, also very dark, so maybe not so easy for you guys watching on YouTube. And all in all, it's just a neat little planet pack that I have very much been enjoying, and hopefully you do as well. So if you would like to check this one out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you give a go, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual, my friends. But that is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and yet do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking to get another wonderful mod. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.